Hi, Kai Jacobson here for LifeWave. Today I want to talk about how to make phone calls to your warm market. How to actually pick up the phone and how to, you know, do that process of initiating the calls, the beginning of what we call the sorting mechanism and what I call permission marketing. So with your warm market, there's a little different style that I do as opposed to with cold leads or, or leads to businesses. I, I call them business to business calls. So with my warm market, what I like to do is this and what I train is the first thing you do is you want to make a list. You want to make your full list. Most people know at least a hundred people, you know, people that you do business with, the person that cuts your hair, your tax accountant, the mechanic who works in your car, uh, your friends, your family, your associates. Uh, I use little memory joggers too. Like you can go on the internet and look for baby names. There's uh, lists of baby names. And when I go through that, I'll find, oh my God, there's 30, 40 more people I forgot about because there's strange first names <laughs> for men and women. And it'll just, oh, I, I, I never, I forgot about Tony, you know, or something like that. Uh, you know, some different name or, or Angelica. I, I, oh, that wasn't what I had thought of. And so when I see these names, they trigger. And so my list gets bigger. And, and uh, sometimes I go through the yellow pages, even in the phone book, for different businesses and professions because I, I wasn't thinking about the gardener, someone who mows my lawn, and oh yeah, there's the gardener. That's a, that's a contact I have too. So your list should be, you know, at least 100 people. Some people just on Facebook have a thousand people <laughs> that they're friends with. Uh, so the lists vary, but usually it's at least 100 people, and sometimes the average is around 500 people that you know. It's very big. Don't edit it at all because you never know who will be interested or who they could refer you to. I mean, I had one 90-year-old woman whose son came home from medical school, or grandson actually, and uh, they became my superstar in one of my companies. So, uh, And she was obviously 90 and too old to do the business, but she referred me to somebody. So don't edit it at all. What you want to do is take your list and put a P or a B by each name. And so this is where your creativity comes in. P is product, B is business. So you're gonna have to lead with a question either about the business or about the products. And they can both blend together a little later in the conversation, but you have to initiate the conversation. So look at each person and say, what would they respond best to? Uh, the business question I usually ask, are you in a place where you could use some extra money? And the key word being extra because everyone can use extra money. Even if you're very wealthy, extra money feels really good. Uh, so you want to say, are you in a place in your life where you could use some extra money? Uh, for the product, then pick which product. You might even put by the pro P when you put there, which one? Are they, are they in pain? Do you know that they're in pain? Or are they having trouble sleeping? Or are they a baby boomer and they kind of want to have anti-aging? You know, what do you think their hot button would be? So you'll start with that because you, you can't say everything in, in one sentence. So you have to start somewhere. So start either with the product and if you think that's where they're going to get their most excitement, do that. So you now you have your list and you have them all kind of categorized uh, with business or product and sometimes which product, you know, when you have the P by it. So you pick up the phone and this is how I like to do it and this is what I call permission marketing. First thing I say is my name right away so that there's no confusion about who's calling, not like, hey George, you know, because they may not know, you, you might have been 20 years since you called George, I might have been on my basketball team when I was in high school, you know, because I put everyone on my list. Uh, so I say, hi, this is Kai calling and I just usually use my first name for, you know, my friends and and warm market. You know, when I get into the business call, I say my full name. But for friends, I just say, hi, this is Kai calling. And this is what I like to say, is this a good time to speak? I'm, I'm asking because, you know, if they're like juggling something in a crazy moment, you don't want to be having that conversation. So is this a good time to speak? And if they say, yeah, this is a good enough time, or, you know, I'm really busy right now, could we talk at another time? Then I set an appointment and we, we reconvene at that time. So if they say, this is a good time, then I'll go into the rest of the conversation. I said, you know, this is a good time to, to speak. And let's say Karen says, yeah, this is an okay time to speak. This is what I say then. I say, Karen, you know, I'd love to catch up at another time, but the reason I'm calling you today, and that's what I do, I don't get into small talk. I don't go into like a half hour, like, oh, how are the kids? What are you doing? Da da da. When I'm looking for this little moment where I might be able to bring the topic up, that annoys people because they can feel it and they feel like you're not being authentic and and that you're wasting their time and they're already by the time that maybe moment comes up they're already kind of closed so i call this permission and honest marketing so the first thing i say when i'm in that part of the conversation is um 
you know, let's catch up at another time. But the reason I'm calling you today, and if it's a business, I'll say, I came across a business that I'm really excited about. Are you in a place where you could use some extra money? That's a fair enough question. Uh, if it's about the product, I'll say, you know, let's catch up at another time. The reason I'm calling you is I got involved with a company that has some products that I'm really excited about how they're working in my life and with people I know. Uh, I know you have problems with sleeping. Um, would you like to hear about how these patches that don't put any chemicals on your body help you sleep? I'd like to get a little short video to you so you could see some information about it. That's it. So you're going to basically send a video with whatever your question is. You have some videos that you got off the main website from, from LifeWave that you've picked that you like, and you have the link so that you can send them in an email that, that video. You, you don't make the presentation. You don't go into this long thing. You basically ask that question. If they say, yeah, I could use some extra money, he goes, I'd like to send you a little short video about this business. And oh, there's some great videos about that, by the way, on, on the website. And then maybe we could talk about it after you had a chance to watch it. That's it. So you're basically making an invitation to look to a presentation. You do not make a presentation. That's the key. No presentations, just an invitation to look at a presentation. And set an appointment. And that's a call. And, and then at the end I say, let's catch up at another time. I've got a bunch of calls that I want to kind of get through because I'm calling a lot of people about this. I'm very excited. And let's talk a little later, and especially when uh, you had a chance to watch the video. And that's, that's, the, that's the system. It's so simple. The key is that you do have to follow up at the exact time that you make that appointment. So you set an appointment. You go, when do you think you'd have a chance to watch this? Do you think you'd watch it in the next hour? I'll call you back. Or they might say, yeah, I'm busy for the rest of the day. Could you call me tomorrow? So you write down and say, would the evening work after work, maybe 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and you set an appointment time, 6.30, or if they say a time when you have another one, you say, you know, I actually have an appointment right then. Can we do it at not 7, at 7.30? Would that work? And you call back. It's very important to show that you're doing a business and that you're very consistent with what you're doing. And if they say, I haven't had a chance to watch it, I give them one more try. I say, do you think you could watch it now? I'll call you in half an hour. Or they say, how about tomorrow? I'll do that. And if they haven't watched it the second time at when we made an appointment, then I, then I say, hey, here's my phone number. When you have a chance to watch it, give me a call. I call that leaving the window open. But that's how we build our business. And then when you're calling back, then you go back to the training about how to, the system that we have about on a scale of one to 10, what level of interest, and then it gets into that whole thing, and that's a separate training. But that's how you do the initial calls, and I've never had anyone upset with me ever. It's such a gentle way, permission marketing, and sorting that you're doing, you're not convincing anyone, and do not be the presenter.